Hi. Today I'm going to talk about how to install Prusa Slicer with a profile for an Ender 3v2 with an added auto leveler. The first thing you'll need to do is head over to Google Chrome, where you will search Prusa Slicer. Once your search comes back, you're going to click on the first link and you're going to download Prusa Slicer for the system that you have. Because Prusa Slicer does a good enough job of explaining how to install it, I'm not going to cover the actual installation. But once you install Prusa Slicer, you're simply going to open it and you should see a screen like this. You will then head over to Printer, click this down arrow, and click the very bottom option which says Add or Remove Printers. Then it'll give you another menu that says Add or Remove Presets. Click that. It may give you a window to download a new update. You don't have to install it. It may not even pop up for you if you have a recently installed software. So I'm going to skip it. And it's going to take a little bit to load. Once it's loaded, you're going to get this little pop-up window. You're going to go to the left-hand menu, and where it says Creality FFF, you're going to click there. And you're going to scroll down until you see the Creality Ender 3 V2. This printer comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Select that option. Then you're going to come back to this left hand menu and click filaments. Once you do that, you're going to find the printer that you just selected, which is the Ender 3 V2. You're going to choose what material you plan on using with it. For this one, I'd recommend just using PLA. Then you can see the different brands and makers that have their filament profiles already loaded. If you do not see the filament brand here, just click generic and then select generic PLA. Then come to the bottom and click finish. Once that is done, you can come to this drop down menu again and select the Creality Ender 3 V2, which will then change the build plate design on the left hand side to show that you're using this printer now. Then go to printer settings on this top menu. And if it's not already pulled up, click custom G code. There is a Microsoft Word file that I will include in the description of this video that has special G code on it. You will select that G code you will copy it. You will then select all of the start G code, right click, and then click paste. Once that is done, all you need to do is click the save icon and name your preset. For this one, I will put BL Touch because that is the name of the auto leveler on my machine. Then you will click OK. You will then go to Plater and your newly created printer profile should already be pre-selected. From there, you can add geometry such as this Easter egg and then click Slice Now. It'll take a little bit to turn this model into code that your machine can read. Once it's done, you'll get that little pop-up menu that says Slicing Finished. You can dismiss that. Then you can click Export G-Code, which you can then go, and if you have your micro SD card plugged into your computer, you can name your file and save it to your micro SD card. From your micro SD card, you can then plug that back into your machine 
and immediately print from your machine. Other options about this printer can be found in print settings where you can change this menu here. Right now it is at a 0 0.08 layer. I would recommend a 0.2 for normal printing or a 0.16 if you need a lot of detail. Select that and everything is already set to give you the best print possible. If you wish to change things further, Prusa Slicer already has released excellent videos describing what each of these items do. Thank you for watching and happy printing.